This is the parish house in the heart of the epidemic. It's a well-to-do home because it's a Quaker merchant family. There are two people in the room. There's the patient and there's Anna Parrish, the sister of the patient, looking on. What she sees is a body that has been stricken with fever, constipation, severe aches and pains. The skin color has started to turn yellowish. There's bleeding in unexpected places, such as from the nostril, even from the gums. And he's beginning to vomit. And when the family see this, they see an unmistakable sign of yellow fever. The black vomit looks like black coffee grounds, but it has an awful stench because it's decaying blood that has not been absorbed by the body, and it's got part of the stomach lining with it, so it's expelled. This is a sure sign of the disease, and it's almost a sure sign of mortality from the disease. So the sign of this will induce great fear. To the Parrish family and the physicians, this is the point of no return. Nothing can be done. So all the people present are going to be thinking of the next steps, how to deal with death, how to get the body out, how to remove a possible additional source of contagion from the public.